Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. I just fed the kitty cat her yummy dinner. So she's down there partaking of her yummy dinner. She's gonna go wash it down with a little water. Go and let it settle. She's gonna get a little more. Oh, see, she's pacing herself. She's going over to get in the box and chill and think about it a little bit. I wish I could do that with a cheeseburger. Just eat a little bit. <laughs> then go off, come back. And go lay down in your box of scarves. Eat about it some more. Gotta love the cat. <laughs> Look at these toenails. These are so <laughs> cute. Good God. Oh, are we, are we recording? Oh, hi. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat. We had a great weekend together. We enjoyed ourselves. This is our weekend. Yes. Tomorrow's my Monday. Yeah. Screw your Friday. <laughs> Tomorrow's my Monday. <laughs> I sat around the last few days watching some movies. I went to the dentist today. I got my teeth clean. Oh yeah. It's your professionalism that I respect. And then I went right next door and I got a little Botox in my forehead. So I'm loving life. Joey's <laughs> going to be a pretty girl at work. Pretty girl. <laughs> I watched some great movies. All right, so I went to the uh, Second and Charles the other week at Chattanooga Plaza. And they have these bins inside the door <clears throat> where everything is free. Free stuff. So it's like four bins full of free stuff. Free stuff. So I found my mom a Roku 2, and it had the remote and everything. All she wow. needed was like some uh, cord, you know. Right. I have, I'm oblivious Oh, to shoot. I can find but it I, for you. I took her the, the Roku 2, and I got Zathura. What a find. I love this movie so much. It was like Jumanji, right? but it was in space with the kids. Right. It had Dax Shepard in it. I yep. loved it mm -hmm. so much. Kristen Stewart was the sister. Yep. Of course, she was a miserable bitch. She's always a miserable <laughs> bitch. And everything she's ever played in, she's a miserable bitch. Wait, wait. Let me do my impression of her in the movie. Here we go. Watch. Yeah. That, okay. Done. That. <laughs> I'm telling you, miserable bitch. Versatile. Where do we go? Where do we go? But if she's got to play the miserable, miserable bitch sister or the miserable bitch girlfriend, she is the perfect. Part. Perfect. It doesn't matter if it's Type a boy casting. or a girl. She is a miserable bitch either yep. way. She will take that. Okay. The special features were awesome. The music was awesome. The story was awesome. The house, got, it, 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 the, he starts playing the game. The meteors come crashing down yep. through the house. And then the house jettisons off into space. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the aliens start attacking it and all right. this stuff in right. their ship. It is so good, y'all. I cannot it's say Jumanji enough good. It's in outer space. I cannot That's say it. enough That's good it. about it. Okay. If you've got five free minutes of your day, you should watch <laughs> Jumanji Z Zathura every day. More like 90 minutes, but five, okay. Yeah. Watch, watch it, it in fast five forward. minute increments. Fast Whatever forward. you got to do to get it, you got to get it in, people. Zathura. Okay. All right. And then I started watching some Red Box movies. The Professor and the Madman. It was uh, Mel Gibson and Sean Penn, and every time I see Sean Penn, all I see is Spicoli, where he bangs <laughs> that shoe on his head, and he goes, what is that? What is that? I'm so wasted. I'm so wasted. Listen, listen up. That was my skull. I'm so wasted. So anyway, all right, so let's be serious, people. Okay. This is a serious, serious movie. Yeah. They're making the dictionary. So the professor is Mel Gibson, and the madman is Sean Penn. He's schizophrenic. He thinks that he hears people chasing him and all this stuff, so he ends up killing this guy. What? And come to find out, the, the guy is innocent, and he is stricken with... Um, Oh, what is schizophrenia? Okay. So he thinks people are following him and chasing him and all that stuff, and it's really sad because the uh, the man that he killed had like six children, and 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 his wife, and then um, somehow God, don't even ask me how, the wife ends up falling in love with him, 
and and they're but happens they're not, all the time, right? They're not they're not lovers. It's an old story. They're not lovers. They're not they're just they're lovers of the brain. They okay. fall in love with each other's brains. All right, so all right. Um, the two guys. All right, spoiler alert. Uh oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. All right, the two guys end up dying before the dictionary is finished, and what? it ends up getting finished by other people. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it said the professor died when they got to the eyes. And uh, then uh, that would have been Mel Gibson. Yeah. And the madman, which is Sean Penn, right. died uh, after that. But they never finished it. And it did end up get getting finished because guess what? We got a dictionary. We got a dictionary. We do have a dictionary. Oh, well, now but you know. And these... knowing is half the battle. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> These guys were so meticulous about okay. it, it was really over the top. All right. All right. It was over the top. They were overdoing it, overthinking All right. it. All right. Um, based on a true story. Yes, based on a true story of the guys who wrote the dictionary. Okay. Uh, Slaughterhouse Rules. This was another reason for Nick Frost and Simon Pegg to get together in a movie. Ooh. Remember yeah. they did uh, The Fuzz? The Fuzz, and that's right. And they did... Um, um, Shaun of the Dead. Thank you. Right. Favorite movie ever. And Love The Shaun World's the End Dead. and a yes. bunch of... Yeah, they're, yes. they're great together. Yes. yes. Okay. So, um, Slaughterhouse Rules, this had to do with a school, a boarding school, a okay. private boarding school. The kids go there. They are fracking underneath of the, the school, in the vicinity of the school. Fracking? Um, fracking where they're sucking the gas. Oh, oh right, 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 right. So right, right. these monsters are evidently living up underneath there. And, and, and it's done by Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. So, okay. you know, they wrote the story because they wanted to have fun and do something fun together. And okay. in the end, it was a, you know, it, it was a Nick Frost, Simon Pegg movie. Okay. Thumbs up? Thumbs up? Um, it, on a boring, rainy day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't go racing to the box and putting your quarter in. I think an, in, infomercial, an infomercial about like a weed whacker might count as well, but sure, okay. No, if you if you like Nick Frost and Simon Pegg movies, you okay. will like this. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, another one that I watched this week, unfortunately, was Beach Bum. Beach Bum. It was a Matthew McConaughey movie. I Ooh. thought it was going to be great. I yeah. knew he was going to be naked in it. You know I love Matthew McConaughey naked. She, she just does. Yeah. She just does. Yeah. Of course, he was naked. He had a thong. Well, and, there we go. And such. And, you know, there was, okay. but he didn't look like he did in, uh, what, what was the stripper movie that he did <laughs> that I love so much? Magic Mike. Oh. Oh, he didn't look Magic Mike good, but he, okay. you know, it was Matthew McConaughey's ass, y'all. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all, all right. All right, all right, But, but, uh, it you're, has, you're... Huh? Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, yeah, it's got it, a lot of people in it. it a lot of famous Zac, people in it. It had Zac Efron yep. in it. Um, and it, Matthew McConaughey was a total slut. His name was Moondog. And his wife was this beautiful red-headed girl. I thought her name was Amy something, but I was completely wrong. Okay. She is freaking amazingly beautiful. All right. She was having an affair with Snoop Dogg. Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Was in it. He was the best friend wow. of Matthew McConaughey okay. and this beautiful red-headed girl. Sweet. And he was having an affair with the beautiful red-headed girl. Okay. Which didn't matter because Moon Dog was screwing anything that would move and screw him back. So it wasn't like she was doing anything wrong, people. Yeah, she was breaking off some dog, but it was the wrong dog. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> My she goodness. Was, she was married to Moon Dog. Heavens. She, she had all the money. Okay. So it didn't matter who whose dog she was there breaking you go. off. There you go. Um, it it was okay. Right. I I I just like Matthew McConaughey all right. and well, I don't know. Okay. All right. Take your chances. All right. Either okay, way. Okay, so it's up in the air. Yeah. Famous people in it. Entertaining. Um, I, One that I really enjoyed was uh, The Mustang. I watched that the latter half of the day. Okay. And uh, this guy, uh, after I went to the dentist and got my Botox, I, I came home and watched The Mustang. So he was in prison. He was a... a I mean, I don't 
don't want to say he was a really bad guy, but he wasn't a really good guy either. Right. He needed some direction. He had right. been kept in solitary confinement. Needed a little bit of rehabilitation. A little rehabilitation. Yeah, he was lonely. He didn't, okay. he didn't really know how to work with right. people. Right. So he went out and, and he worked on the horses. Um, this one had Bruce Dern in it. Bruce we, Dern. We had Laura Dern earlier. Right. Now we have Last Bruce week, Dern. Bruce Dern. So, um, like him. the guy was a, 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 in the prison, and he was having a hard time, like I said, with the, the other inmates okay. and, and working with them. So he would go out and start working with the horses. Sweet. And he lived and he learned, and his daughter would come and visit, and she was pregnant, and she was leaving. She was moving in with a boyfriend okay. and all this stuff. Um, you know, typical kid shit. All right. But he ended up breaking the horse, and that's what they did in the prison that he was in. And he was rehabilitated. There's still a few prisons in the United States where they allow the inmates to work with the horses. Why but not? unfortunately, the facility that was shown in this movie, um, I, I, I don't think continued with it. Well, darn. Um, he got hurt. He got drugged. He didn't get hurt real bad. I mean, he was the tough guy. But he got drugged behind a horse and all this stuff because of uh, the helicopters coming in and disrupting the sale of the Whoa. horses. But that's what it's they would risk. do. It's a they risk. Would, they would break the horses it's for the risk. sale. So okay. they, they would get them right. rideable, and then people would come in and buy the horses. Okay. And, and that was the story. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thumbs up, thumbs down? Uh, I don't know. Thumbs it's up. another rainy day story. Ha half a thumb. Okay. Rainy Day story. I'm going to interrupt you. Go right ahead. Uh, some previews that I saw. Oh, was, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but yeah. what about Us? You were going to review Us this week because you, you saw it last week. You had to watch it Thank a few times. Thank you for reminding me, Matt. Yeah. Us. Thank you for reminding okay. me. I totally enjoyed that movie. Cool. I watched it twice. I went over my mother's house and I researched it because I wanted to know some of the specifics and understand some of the things about the movie okay. that, 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 that Peel wanted right. me to know. Right. All right, so you Jordan had... Jordan Peel, yep. You had 11-11. Right. And that was actually a, 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 something you have to look up and understand. It's a Bible verse. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the song, I Got Five on it. Right. You got to research why that is specific to the movie. There's, okay. there's three or four different things... It's it's kind of insignificant, but it's interesting because the director felt that it was significant. Right. And there was one other thing, but I can't think of what it was. It was the eleven eleven. It was the I got five on it, and there was one other thing. And when I go to mom's tomorrow, I'm gonna okay. look it up. But I gotta tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie the second time around. Right. I got so much more out of it. All right. So she met her doppelganger in the house of fear. On the boardwalk, right. and it's a family that meets their evil doppelgangers yeah. and have to fight for their lives to survive. And then, yes. spoiler alert: turns out it's more than just them; it's everybody. It's everybody. 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 Oh, I remember what it was. What was it? It was like the Hands Across America. Right, right, right. That, that was, a, was a significant. That was thing based then. on something that happened in the eighties with the mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan and all that stuff. And that had to do with the the doppelgangers. Joining hands and right. crossing across that America. Was their, that was their goal. Hands across America. And to be nitpicky, mm -hmm. it's like they're supposed to be, you know, spoiler alert, doppelgangers of everybody in the United States, which is about 300 million people. Who the hell made 300 million red jumpsuits and 300 million pairs of golden scissors? That's all I'm saying. I was entertained because I take I way don't less. Don't think too hard. Don't think too hard. I'm being nitpicky. Don't I think too hard. I take way less to be entertained than Matt does. I really, I, I just I enjoyed. I said like, what the, uh-huh. I enjoyed the woman. I enjoyed the family. She was good. And, and I enjoyed that. Actors were good. Story was good. Song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. She said, uh, call the police. And the, and the little thing, Siri went, oh, what? The police? <laughs> yeah. Went into the song. That was funny. And funny. there was some significance behind that. Right. <clears throat> because the fact the police were not showing up to disrupt the, the it violence. Was the end, the end of the, it's like a zombie apocalypse. The end of the world. The cops aren't coming. Right. So that's that's what that There's was. There's an old that line that said, like, when you're, when survival is, you know, it depends on seconds, the police are, like, minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's exactly what I read when I read 
about yeah, that song. Yeah. Anyways. All right, um, so go ahead. So then this week, The Dead Don't Die came out. Yep. It's Very coming. excited. Bill Very Murray. Very excited. And, and Adam Driver. Yep. Very excited. Cauliflower. Um, <laughs> did you say cauliflower to me? To me. You said the word cauliflower. That's right. I did. The last time you said that word to me, I ended up getting sent down for six months. It was juvie. I was 13. And you were supposed to be the lookout, now weren't you? Being that I was your kid brother, I let you lead me into trouble with all your crazy cauliflower plans. Okay. We're talking about Logan Lucky. If yeah. you don't, if you didn't watch that, that movie, film. you must absolutely watch that movie great to get film. that reference. They, they uh, suck the money out of the vault from um, the car racing. Big NASCAR thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Logan Lucky. Great film, though. Great story. A lot of and fun Channing stuff. And Channing Tatum was in it. There and you he go. kept his pants on the oh, whole well. time. Oh, well. All right. All right. Um, Can't Bright win every time. Go ahead. Brightburn. Uh, okay. Brightburn was the bad Superman movie. Very That's coming. Yeah, it's out that. in the theaters now. Coming soon to video. But Finally yeah. got to see the, the, the um, introduction to that. Okay. That was very interesting. Cool. Okay. All right, so I told you guys the other week that my maintenance man came in here and he took the video of my hay cat in the house. That's my cat, I All swear right. to God. All right. All right, so now if you look up sunglass cat, he's coming in here and he's taking videos of my patio cat too and he's putting sunglasses on what? it. What? So you guys, you guys watch this. My maintenance man is making serious money off of my kitty cats in what? my house. Yeah, sunglass, you can look up honestly, on YouTube. Sunglass honestly, cat? I know sun, Sunglass Cat is not the patio cat. But okay. Because it, it, the cat has Close problems. enough. It looks just like her. All right, all right. It looks just like her. All Maybe right. this guy's making up a story. But he said the cat um, didn't have eyelids and, and they have what? to put sunglasses on the Jeez, cat. Jeez, that's creepy. Yeah. So, you know, you believe right. who you want, but I believe that the maintenance man is making some money right. off my kitty cats. And what is this here? We actually have a can for Grape for Loco. It's one I didn't See, squish elusive. like the Hulk. Elusive. She squished it like the Hulk the last week. I like, usually just grrr, squish them like the Hulk. We've been looking for this for about a year, and she found it. Now, she drank it all, so I didn't get to I taste it. I think the it. other one was grape, though, Matt. I don't know that it was sour. I think it was different. I think it was grape. It just says grape. It just says grape on it. Yeah, there. but I think it said grape down the side. What, in the old oh, one. Oh, the old one. I don't, I don't think sour it was grape. sour. Maybe so. Yeah. Maybe so. It's a new, but hey, it's something and new I've to us. And I've been drinking my red tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on everything. I'm working on them all for you people. It's I, a job. She doesn't want... Joby doesn't want to drink. That That is a spoiler alert here. She hates drinking. She likes to be sober. It's but killing be, my diet. But for the video, I'm she's getting drinking, so fat. She's drinking this stuff and drinking wine, which was Laying Boto around, again. watching movies. Watching movies for you. She's suffering for you. <laughs> the sacrifice, the pain, it's sad. It's sad. No, she loves it. She loves it. She does it because she loves it. <laughs> Seriously. I hope you guys watch some of these great movies. Yeah. Um, uh, I say we watch some stinkers, but if you get to watch Zathura, you just Google right. that. Oh, tonight, Detective Pikachu you saw. What do you think of that? I watched Detective Pikachu. It was really cute because I love Ryan Reynolds and such. He did the voice of Pikachu. Um, yeah. It was a cute movie. Right. I like the little Pikachu mm -hmm. in it, but I don't remember the era, honestly. My son... Used to play Pikachu. And People who cards. played Pokemon in the 90s are going to love yeah. it better because they know every yeah. freaking little Pikachu, or I mean a Pikachu, Pokemon that shows up in the movie. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it was a good movie. It was cute. It was entertaining. But it's if adorable. you love Pokemon, play Pokemon Go, you're going to go, oh, oh, that that one, yeah. that one, that one, that one. Yeah. So, so yeah. Entertaining for us, but for people who are of the generation that played Pokemon, oh my God! If my they're son lose their was minds. here watching it with us, we probably would have told. He would have bored us into we'd oblivion. Have, we would have had to pause that one, it that constantly. one, that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but there we go. Okay. But it was cute. If was you're cute. of that era, you yeah. will appreciate it. All right. So Zathura and the the Pikachu Pokemon Detective Pikachu and us. Did us? You like us? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I would totally watch Us. Right. And I would totally watch Us twice. Because it, it just kind of goes over your head. 
Matt got it, but no. I really enjoyed it when I watched it twice. Right. Um, Beach Bum, I don't know, y'all. Eh, forget Watch it. Watch it if you want to. Slaughterhouse They all can't be winners, yeah. If you're a fan of these guys, you know, some people just have a fan base. Right. We make a movie and yeah, you just watch yeah, it. it. Depends. And that's why I watch Slaughterhouse Rules, because I love Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. There you go. So All right. I'm thinking da -da 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 -da. when he was doing the zombies. Right, when he right, was chasing right, the zombies. Right, 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 right. Okay. So uh y'all do all these things. Watch Sunglass Cat. It's very cute. Okay. Very cute. Okay. Y'all come back and see us next week. Glad you came by. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> pika, 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 choo. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Pika, 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 choo.